You're going to be working around fuel on this project, so you want to take some basic precautions. First, work in a well-ventilated area. Have proper eye and hand protection. Do not have any source of heat or open flame around your work area, including incandescent shop lights. And if you smoke, now is a really good time to stop. Also, have the proper fire extinguisher handy and know how to use it. To replace the fuel pump, you will need to remove the rear seats. Please see a link at the end of this video for further information on how to complete that task. Once you have removed the rear seat, peel the carpet away from the right side rear seat cushion area of the body as indicated by the green arrow. Hold the carpet out of the way and then remove the four 10 millimeter nuts from the access panel as indicated by the green arrows. Remove the access panel lid from the body by lifting it up. Move away enough to access the electrical connector on the fuel pump module. Disconnect the fuel pump electrical connectors by squeezing the release tabs and pulling them off. Green arrows. Next, you have to remove the lines at the fuel pump. Press the retaining tab, green arrows, in towards the line and hold. Then slide the line off the pump module. Be careful not to damage the hose or the fuel pump module. Now you have to unscrew the fuel pump module threaded collar, green arrow. There is a BMW special tool made to do this. However, if you do not have this tool, you can use a brass punch and a rubber mallet. Using the brass punch and rubber mallet, tap the threaded collar in one of the ridges counterclockwise to loosen. Once loose, unscrew the remainder of the way by hand. If the collar is damaged during this process, you will need to replace it with a new part. Remove the collar from the fuel tank and store it in a safe place. Slowly lift the fuel pump module up slightly out of the tank, enough to access the large fuel line. Press the retaining tab, green arrow, and slide the fuel line off of the fuel pump module. This can be tough to get off because it's usually at an angle when being removed and friction is working against you. Work slowly and do not damage the line. With the large upper fuel line removed, remove the top of the fuel pump module and lay it aside. Then, working inside the fuel tank, wrap a piece of mechanics wire around the two black hoses at the bottom of the fuel pump module, as indicated by the yellow arrows. Then, pull the black hoses, red arrows, out of the fuel pump module and lay them aside. Next, press the retaining tab on the fuel line, green arrow, and remove the line from the fuel pump module. The mechanics wires helps you to install the lines. If you drop them down into the tank, it can be a pain to locate them. With all the fuel lines removed, lift the fuel pump module up and out of the fuel tank. Have a bucket or plastic bin inside the vehicle with you. Catch any dripping fuel with a cloth as you remove it, then immediately place the fuel pump module inside the bucket to minimize spilled fuel. When installing, replace the fuel pump assembly sealing O-ring. Be sure the O-ring is properly installed on the fuel tank before installing the fuel pump. Install the new sealing O-ring on the fuel tank, then attach the lower fuel lines to the fuel pump module. Slide the new fuel pump assembly into the fuel tank further and connect the upper large fuel line. Align the tab with the fuel tank, green arrow, and press the fuel pump module into the tank. Hand tighten the threaded collar, then use the BMW special tool to tighten the threaded collar or tap lightly clockwise with a brass punch and a rubber mallet. Connect the external fuel lines, connect the electrical connectors, and reassemble the interior. Fill the fuel tank with about two gallons of fuel before attempting to start. Once you are sure fuel pump is operating normally, fill the remainder of the fuel tank and check it for leaks. You only need to do the last steps if you drain the tank prior to replacing the module. It is possible to replace the module without draining the tank. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.